please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. In his absence due to injury, the wording of a double long lap penalty issued to Moto3 rider David Munoz has been significantly altered to avoid the type of confusion that surrounds Marquez. The updated wording of the rule now reads, the double long lap penalty shall be served by the rider at the next Grand Prix that the rider participates. The Repsol Honda rider was hit with a double long lap penalty for crashing into Miguel Oliveira in Portimo but at the time, the rule stated he must serve his punishment at the next race. But Marquez missed the next race in Argentina due to injury. Honda appealed the FIM MotoGP stewards panel's attempts to rejig Marquez's punishment, so that he must serve it whenever he returns from injury. Honda's argument is, essentially, that a rule cannot be rewritten after an event to apply to an individual rider. Marquez hopes to return at Jerez on April 28, but the MotoGP Court of Appeal has not yet delivered its final ruling on whether he must serve his double long lap penalty when he next competes, or whether the penalty has expired. But, this past weekend at the Circuit of the Americas, it became clear that the FIM MotoGP stewards have reworded the double long lap penalty rule to avoid a repeat of the controversy surrounding Marquez. Moto3 rider Munoz will be the first rider for whom the newly worded rule applies. Because it has been rewritten while Marquez's appeal is pending, it remains unknown whether it will apply to him. Spanish media expect Marquez's appeal to be successful. AS reported that Marquez repeatedly asked the stewards if his penalty was only applicable for Argentina, and they repeatedly answered yes, before he agreed to sign the sanctioning papers. Marquez then opted to undergo hand surgery for the injury sustained in his crash with Oliveira. A final decision on his looming double long lap penalty is expected before the Spanish MotoGP, assuming he is fit to race. On the other hands, the Muni VR46 team stock has never been higher with Marco Bezzecchi leading the MotoGP standings after three rounds, and Luca Marini claiming his first podium. <laughs> They are powered by the best machinery currently on the grid via Ducati, and are contracted until the end of next year, but rumors persist that Rossi could be tempted to take his team to Yamaha, where his own glory days played out. We have a three-year contract with Ducati, also for 2024, and I don't think that will change, Rossi told La Gazzetta dello Sport Sport Week. But the intrigue is whether Yamaha can tempt Rossi across with an offer that Ducati could not match. Yamaha, where Rossi won four of his seven Premier Class Championships, lost their satellite team to Aprilia and only have two bikes on the grid this season. Could they effectively allow Rossi's VR46 squad to become the Yamaha factory team? Lynn Jarvis, Yamaha managing director, oversaw Rossi's best years. They retain a relationship and Yamaha offer bikes to the VR46 Academy in Tavalia. The fascinating prospect extends to the sponsor Monster, who already work with Yamaha and Rossi separately. <laughs> it's difficult to be a factory team, Rossi responded to the scenario. Because for me they will always make the factory team. We'll see for the future. With Yamaha it would be nice. But we need to see how competitive the bikes are. We want to go to the races hoping to finish at the front. Our results also come because we have Ducati, which are scary. They are the best bikes and we were good for choosing them. That makes all the difference.